Saint Teresa of Avila turned her poems into melodies to help bring as many people as possible closer to God. She used music that was popular during her time, changed the words, and inserted her own verses. Five hundred years later, the mezzo-soprano and researcher Sonia Rivas has reversed the process. She found that almost forgotten music and has used the poems of Saint Teresa of Avila, John of the Cross, and Anne of Saint Bartholomew to turn them into songs. The result is this. I laid out the words, and what I did was narrow them geographically and by time period, by the time which St. Teresa would have heard them. From there, I used hundreds and hundreds of melodies to find the first tune, which was Colloquium of Love. That first song also became the title of the first album, which was released in 2003. The project was a resounding success. It was even nominated for a Grammy for classical music. However, another honor was hard to forget. We met the papal nuncio in Madrid, and he talked about the possibility of me presenting the album to John Paul II. It was quite exciting to meet him and to have the chance to sing a cappella for him. Melodies, texts, and instruments from the 16th century. Another one of the stars from the recital is the VL, an instrument from the same family as the guitar, which was popular in Spain at the time. It's a delight to play this instrument and accompany the voice. This instrument was created to go with singing mainly. It is one of its most important functions. Mystical music, along with walls of stone at a Spanish church in Rome, make the teachings of the saint resonate stronger than ever.